communities fed up with rising crime are pointing fingers at progressive district attorneys who often opt for lighter sentences and less jail time for criminals. My concern is public safety. According to FBI crime data, California's violent crime rate is 31 percent higher than the national average. In Alameda County, residents now pushing to recall their progressive prosecutor, Pamela Price. The recall effort reportedly close to getting the number of signatures needed to move forward. Anybody could be a victim at any time. Business owners are losing their businesses. People are losing their lives. And we continue to not see it as important. LA's progressive prosecutor George Gascon dodged two similar recall efforts in the last two years. San Franciscans removed their progressive DA, Chesa Boudin, last summer. Boudin, Gascon, and Price all received backing from groups tied to the far left activist billionaire mega donor George Soros. Uh, Soros realized that you don't actually need to change the laws, you just need to change how they're enforced. Soros tends to focus on smaller races where donations can have a big impact. One of the things he noticed was that, in, it, it, that, that the value for money in local races is much higher than it is in national races. It's an effective strategy. In 2022, one in five Americans were represented by a Soros-linked DA, according to data compiled by the Law Enforcement Legal Defense Fund. Aside from recalling DAs, citizens taking their frustrations to city council races. In Seattle, only three of nine city council members who led the 2020 defund the police movement were voted back into office. Leaders of the group pushing for a recall of Alameda County's progressive DA say they'll be visiting Washington, D.C. next month to meet with the Biden administration. In Washington, I'm Kayla Gaskins.